This is what we are. We are alive. We have delegated the most important task of distributing and using power. We can now by more aware of how the political layer of our individual and collective internet behaviors is being hijacked, manipulated, and concentrated by a few corporations, corrupt global organizations, and leaders. So, armed with a better understanding of utopias, futures, and the internet, the next question is, how can we invent what happens next? So for this year, 2018, and beyond, of course, we keep getting philosophical, political, and post-paradoxical, reframing paradoxes as future thinking tools, aiming to explore deeper how we can use them in the internet age instead of feeling trapped by them, to better understand reality and be more empowered to invent collectively better futures. But a philosophical approach is not enough. We also need to translate the critical, planetary, and long-term thinking into narratives and actions. This is why we are embedding a tool from resistance, a tool to deal with contradictions, a tool equally used by comedians, artists, terrorists, and meme creators, subversion. Overall, our main goal with the subversion of paradoxes is to actively question binary mindsets which are now being augmented by the binary nature of the zeros and ones embedded in digital technologies, and instead evolve into the inclusiveness of the spectrums, highlighting the plurality, variety, and beautiful, beautiful imperfections of humanity, which applies to everything from gender to politics. In a nutshell, we aim to subvert paradoxes, question the status quo, Challenge dominant cultural narratives, binary mindsets and structures, refreshing the meaning of subversion by stimulating a fostering planetary, long-term and critical thinking slash doing. In other words, using the internet instead of being used by it. I will quote Douglas Hofter, author of a book called Godel Eskerbach, An Eternal Golden Braid. If you found a contradiction in your own thoughts, it is very unlikely that your whole mentality would break down. Instead, you would probably begin to question the beliefs or modes of reasoning which you felt had led to the contradictory thoughts. In other words, to the extent you could, you would step out of the system inside you wished you felt were more responsible for the contradiction and try to repair them. One of the least likely things for you to do would be to throw up your arms and cry. Part two, the next seven years. After reflecting on what happened in 2017, we took away three key learnings. One, utopias have an expiration date indeed, and that is totally fine. But now we need to imagine, cultivate, and invent new internet utopias. Second, Looking at the futures of everything, from work to fashion, at the same time, from the perspective of apparently mundane behaviors, not only for mar from market trends, has a huge social value. And the third key learning, current, issue, current issues from climate change to the death of the internet, demand that the criticality of futures thinking conversation evolves from a collective understanding into collaborative actions across sectors, borders, and generations. With these learnings in mind and thinking about life cycles and our personal not-so-random obsession with number seven, we decided to frame the conversation about the near futures of everything in a familiar seven-year horizon and attach to the 2018 theme a big, yet simple question. How do we want to live, work, eat, learn, exchange, design, dress, create, play, everything in 2020, by 2025? So following the research approach we initiated last year, we are breaking down the theme in five topics, labeled with short and provocative titles, designing for emergence and speculation, opening a space for better questions, and escaping from predictions. After a year of post everything, a prefix overdose, we picked a preposition to go further, beyond, and five non-objects, 
algorithms, disciplines, cliques, desires, and dreams. Just checking if you are not sleeping. To package the futures of three connected areas responding to IAM's triangulation speculative research approach, fancy name, pursuing the idea that everything is connected, owing to the fact that, well, everything is. So, what can algorithms, disciplines, cliques, desires, and dreams have in common? Together, we are about to discover it, hopefully. Last part, part three. Do you remember the futures? The paradoxical, the, oof. <laughs> you see? The paradoxical cyclical web we weave ourselves into of escapisms from escapism this distance us from the human and filters our perception and emotions. Technology as a tool for us has transformed into us as the tools for technology, especially as it takes on more human attributes, rendering us less sensitive and more impervious. Let's embrace the paradox, create constructive collisions, and break out the cyclical system, measure it from afar, up close, behind, bird's eye style, and beyond. Let's look beyond, look forward, look to the next seven years. But in no way is this the end. I Am Weekend 18 is just a part, a big one though, of an ongoing year-long research initiative that is and will be fruitful in events, experiments, publications, curatorial and commissioning projects, along with existing and new partners of I Am, including UAL, the University of Arts London, Elisaba, the BBC, Red Bull, and few more to be announced very soon. We are all here together for a reason, a reason that we can understand now, a reason we won't understand alone, because here we are alone together. And we hope in a near future, all of us will remember this Friday morning where a group of people coming from around the world decided to think, say, and act in a critical, planetary, and long-term way about futures, always in plural. You are all invited to continue this short journey in becoming inventive, revolutionary anthropologists of futures that also place trust in randomness. Ultimately and constantly, we invite you to ask yourself and others this question. What futures do we want to remember by 2025? To the new ones, welcome to the I Am family. To those coming back, welcome home. And overall, welcome to I Am Weekend 18. Thanks to our team, collaborators, volunteers, speakers, panelists, moderators, worship leaders, especially our partners, friends and family. Enjoy this, uh, enjoy this weekend, make it yours. And uh, yeah, that was the speech. Thanks. <laughs> In randomness, we trust.